guys and welcome to my youtube channel so i know this seems really weird for you guys but i've decided to do a channel on my own <laughs> are you being serious what the fuck are you doing <laughs> i'm doing a channel on my own yeah there's no way <laughs> <laughs> you wish there was a camera on your face. It's all right. It's gonna be shit. No. You don't have a tripod. Don't get involved in my YouTube. <sighs> right, where's the charger? You don't even have a fucking. What, all you do is complain. Don't try and act like my place is difficult for you to chill in. Because your place here. is way more difficult to chill in. I come here more than you come to mine. I was there last night and you were just. Oh my god, you literally came. You were a mute. You literally came for five seconds, like to mine. I didn't. I was there I'm for two hours. I'm always chilling here. I was there for two hours. No, you weren't. You were no, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. I have a headache just from you existing. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything. Hello, man, dear. This lighting makes me look awful. Put it here. <laughs> oh, nice, pretty, actually. Yeah. Very pretty. So I don't know what we're doing. We stuck the camera on. We've done a podcast today. We're not very happy with it. We weren't really flowing as well, but we did take a whole month, month off. off. So maybe that's what it is. You kind of get used to doing podcasts and your flow. My energy levels are just low. What what stage of your menstrual cycle are you? That's what I checked. You made me a weirdo that's checking these <laughs> things now. I'm two weeks before. So your energy levels are just going to decline for the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, only two weeks of a month, I'm okay. And the rest of it is just fucked. Why are you sitting so close to me? <laughs> I'm already, if I sit like this, I'm not even in the thing. I have to sit here. Do you know what it is? <laughs> My energy was low. I'm not even down or sad. Like, I feel like right now I'm happier than I have been throughout the last, I don't know how many few months. Because, like, if you look at the podcast, you can see before when it's like my boyfriend's arguments aren't normal and shit like that. I'm actually happy. It's just everything. Do you know what I mean? You haven't got anything to be upset about. It's just everything. I don't, I haven't got anything to be upset about, but I don't have anything to be particularly happy about either. How about you're healthy? And I'm pretty. You're pretty. I was going to say that. And I've got How about... two cute dogs. No one has dogs cuter than mine. Yeah. My dogs are so cute. Eddie, Kobe. When you can see them right When you can see them. I'm going to show you them. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you stupid boys? Are you stupid boys? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right, okay, that was it. They're really cute. And I'm very proud of the fact that we've got cute dogs. What about the fact that you live in a lovely house? Yeah. Gingerbread's lucky. You, um, it's your house as well. You live in it. Yeah. Anyway, like, <laughs> I just feel like, you know what it is? Yeah. So we put so much work into our podcast. Like, it was so much work and effort going to our podcast. Like, so much. Not really, not Maddie, that much. I just about understood what you just said. We put so much work and effort into our podcast. Like, not really, but we do. Okay, we don't put that much work and effort into it. We but, don't put any effort. But it's still, you. sorry. We don't do any work or effort. I, it is effort going there and everything, planning to think. You don't plan shit. Whatever. I just see other podcasts, like, doing really well. And, like... Basically, she's a hater. I'm joking. No, no. Basically, we just don't feel like after a year of doing this podcast, it's as big as it's like we hoped for it to be. As it deserves to be. As it deserves, as we deserve it to be. As we deserve it to be. <laughs> oh, sometimes there's a voice inside of me that's like, should we just give up? But we just were like, we know you and you know us and we can't leave you now. It's like a, a toxic attachment. Yeah, that's the thing. I'd feel so bad and sad bad and sad leaving the sisters in the city listeners it's like for myself as well it's not about them i don't feel sorry for them i i don't want to leave them i know yeah we're just gonna have to just keep pushing it and keep manifesting it and maybe me and you're gonna be like 50 years old sisters. Hello, welcome to sisters in the city 50 is not that old 70 hello welcome to sisters in the city <laughs> what do you think no, you know what? I see it one day being humongous. Do you? Yeah. I see like my ass just getting even more humongous. Like my <laughs> ass is just getting bigger every year. <laughs> you have a big, big bum. <laughs> you have a really big bum. It's great. It's not. It's a nice. Now bum. it's like badonk, badonk. No, I like your bum because you know why? Your bum is a project. It's like has got a lot of projection. I don't like that. Yeah. It's, it's a lot much. of projections. Like my, I feel like my ass is wide. My bum's big because I'm big. No, <laughs> my ass is wide. Yours is projected. Basically, my, boy, my boyfriend just um, glammed up now, put his suit on, put his aftershave on, and he's gone off to work in a nightclub. It's not a fucking nightclub. It's, it's a Greek nightclub. It's not a nightclub. And look, it's a Greek nightclub that he works in. 
You could have gone. You didn't want to go. Why am I going to go and sit there while he's working? I said to you, Gingerbread said on me, I said, if you want to go, we'll go. Yeah, but why the hell would I sit there while he's working? Because instead of having a shisha that doesn't work, we'd have a shisha that works and serve to us, cold change, everything. Look, even though I love going to his workplace, I don't feel like leaving the house and going anywhere else in London. Literally, when I go out, I always just go to his restaurant because everywhere in London is so shit right now. Yeah. It's boring, empty. It's like everyone's left. What should we do tonight, me and you? I don't know. What do you think we should do? Because we're just, we've been sitting on the sofa for like, how long? Hours. Hours. And we're just sitting Time there. Time flies so fast when you're old. And I was like, you know what? Let me stick the camera on because it's just going to make me feel more productive. <laughs> Gingerbread's out with his friends. Where does he get this enthusiasm for life? We used to be like that. He's like, come out, come out. You and I get ready, come out. I'm just like, no, don't want to. Like what, come and just sit there and just drink and then feel shit the next day and just eat loads and just feel shit again. It's like temporary intoxication. Escaping the real problems of our life. We have to face the real problems of our life. Like why is Sisters in the City not an international sensation? <laughs> is that a real problem? It's a real fucking problem. <laughs> it's been a really weird week for me. It's been a very weird week for me. Me and this so far, <laughs> I've literally been stuck to each other the whole week. I've just sat on this sofa and it's like, I tell myself every day, tomorrow I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do my planning, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that on the laptop. And every single day I wake up and I don't do it. Yeah, it's weird. And it's like almost like a weird, sick disease of the yeah. brain. I have a treadmill in my living room and every day I'm like, I'm gonna get all that treadmill in the living room. And then I don't, it's there what is that it's like and it makes me feel even worse that i'm not going to the gym and i'm not doing all these things and i keep procrastinating everything and when i feel worse yeah feel I'm, like, I'm miserable i'm not fit i'm miserable i'm not exercising and i don't exercise and it's just a vicious cycle yeah and the more miserable i feel the more miserable i am the less i want to get up and move yeah it's called chronic laziness it's our dad's genetics is that what it is uh, it's genetic isn't it i actually think it's genetic oh shit hello fuck it up babe man how many times have i got to call you Okay, are you outside? Yes, I have a move. Do me a favour. Can you get me a Ripple, please, from the fridge? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you too. You know what? I heard a warning. Did you not hear the warning from outside? No. That's when I looked at my phone. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. It's just me and you guys now. I have a fucking headache, yeah? Like, my head is going to explode around here. It was bad, and I decided to make it worse by smoking shisha. I don't understand why he drinks Red Bull like it's water. Red Bull's so bad. I feel like I had a Red Bull today before the podcast. Didn't work at all. <laughs> Literally, it made me yawn. I was yawning after the Red Bull. It made me feel worse. It's made me feel lethargic so much more because I had it. When, we, then, when did we record the podcast? I had the Red Bull around, what, 3 o'clock, right? And right now, it's like 9, yeah? 9 p.m. It's made me feel so shit this evening. Red Bull isn't the one. And I drink vodka with Red Bull nights out and I feel like that. Why do I do that? Vodka and Red Bull, poo! I'm like going, I'm at it. I'm like going crazy all night. And then the next morning I wake up like the worst anxiety ever in the morning. And I'm addicted to it when I go out. Vodka, Red Bull, vodka, Red Bull. I need to stop that. And I was like, drink soda, drink soda. You drink soda or vodka and I'm fucking falling asleep. No matter like, where I am. Gingerbread's calling me. Let's see what he says. Hello? Hey, are you okay? Uh, yeah, no, not really. I just went to bed to Greek Street. Um, basically, because they were in that, so... They won't let you in? But I swear they puked in another venue. Yeah, I know, but they flagged them. And then basically, we went back there to talk to them. I chatted a bit of shit, and he was like, listen, you ain't getting in. They've been flagged by the actual venue place, so even when they went to yeah. another branch, they can't get in because they puked in the other branch earlier. Yeah, why? Man, wow. I wasn't sick, man. I wasn't sick here. Yeah. You're so butters, like. Why are you puking so around, butters, like, central London, so, like? I'm so And last butters. weekend you were puking. What's it with I'm you? I'm puking, bro. Shut up. Uh. I have to be sick of myself, bro. I seriously, I'm fucking cunt. I swear to the fucking... Is it shit? What is it? Are you, having, are you having a shit time? Tell me you're having a shit time. Yes, yes, yes. Shit time. Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. And then Mandy, yeah. I gave it the full bullshit, yes, yeah, so the geezer runs the other one. Yeah. It's literally two sets of wall. You weren't having an inch of it, yeah? Really? Well, you might as well change your group chat to like the vomit gang. Alright, bye, baby. Love you. Love you, bye. Oh, that was boring. Yeah. So, the, like, the first branch they went to, two of them puked on the table, and then they went to the second branch and they've been flagged for the night, at, like, for puking in the other place. That is hilarious, yeah? Oh! Can't we get up? Oh, 
I'm so old when I get up, I'm like, oh, oh, I fucking oh. fell down the stairs. Gosh, my ankle, my bum. This is from falling down the stairs. Can you see it? Look. Look how much water there is. That is fucked up. Do you know how it's so painful? Like, I can't even sit. Look, like, if you're planning on chopping up that watermelon, because I ain't. I was on TikTok and I saw some crazy story. So you know, what is it called, your algorithm? Yeah. So basically, because I stop at every crime or crazy story thing, TikTok keeps showing me all these crazy stories. Yeah, you just tell me the most disturbing shit. Yeah, so right? she's sitting there chilling and I'm like, Mandy, there was a story about this 19 year old girl that went to the hospital with back pain with her mum. And then basically the Doctors and nurses said that you're you're actually pregnant in labour, and she was like, "No, I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant." She went to the toilet for 20 minutes, and she wouldn't let anyone in the toilet. She locked herself in there. When they open the door, they see there's blood everywhere, and when the cleaner goes to clean up the blood and take the trash, they see that there's like basically she tried to hide a dead baby in the no, trash. No, 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 no. She, so she gave birth. She did not hide a dead baby. She hid a fully alive grown alive. ass yeah, grieving yeah, yeah. ass newborn baby yeah so it was actually fully grown nine months she gave birth to it in the toilet it was and alive and she put it in the, in the trash she put it in the trash she goes she's back. 19 yo. so you can see the fo like the camera in the hospital where the woman the nurse i don't know who it is nurse or hospital staff goes in there and goes look we've just found your dead baby in the toilet trash and the mum of the girl is like Confused, the the like, mum of the girl, yeah, I'm sorry, but like her first response is like, you know, you can get in trouble for this, yeah, you know, you could get in trouble for this, like, you know, you're there's girls go to jail for doing this. Isn't your first fucking response like, how could you kill a baby? How can you put a breathing newborn baby in a bag, tie it up and murder it? That the first response would be, my grandchild, you murdered my grandchild. What the fuck? The morning for the newborn baby should be the first response. Yeah. Not, you know, you could go to jail for this. Yeah, it's true. Freak, mum. And, and her face is like this. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like, I didn't know. I didn't. It wasn't, it wasn't crying. Not all babies cry when they come out. She definitely deserves to go to prison for murder. Anyway, also the other day I was watching TikTok and it came up with um, this girl. She was also like 18, 19, and she was drink driving five times over the limit. Yeah. And she crashed her car and killed a couple and then the you can see on the police cam when they take her over she's like laughing she's laughing like so smiling she know, though, that she's killed a couple yeah and then in the maybe she's on drugs though she's like completely sorry i don't know about drugs but they just said alcohol is like five times over and then in she must be on drugs then they take her obviously to the hospital just to get her checked because she was in a big crash and then while she's sitting on the hospital bed she's singing She's like, ah, nah, nah, nah. and then she's like, can I go out? Because I need to go to school tomorrow morning. I and they're like, across this. and then the police were like, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're going to jail. You've killed two people. But she was like, oh, and they're like, she was like, well, can I go to, to school on Tuesday? And he's like, she must be on You're not going to school at all. You've killed two people. How they what? She's gone to prison. She came out, and while you know they let you out on trial while you're going through the trial, the fuck she I'm came out. School, bro. I think prison school, when bitch. she came out, I think she got married, got pregnant, and then she went to prison. I think a year later. Okay. So she thought, I, I'm literally on what's it, remand, preparing for trial. Let me get married. Who's the idiot marrying her? That's what I want to know. You're marrying someone you're never going to see who's going to be in prison for life. Yeah, it's fucking weirdos up there. And look at us, we're still not married. And these, we're not married to people who just murdered. We're not married by choice. Yeah, I know, 100%. I just can't get used to the fact that my boyfriend works in a bar. What are you planning on doing about that? What's your plan? Usually, like, imagine you're not here with me. I'm on my own every night. Oh my God, no, he's not every night. You over exaggerate. Yesterday you were at mine and you went home together. Yeah. I came to yours mm, yeah. because I knew I'd be alone. And he came early. He, what do you call 12, 30 early? Yeah, usually night. on a Friday and Saturday, he's coming back at three. It's horrible. Did you know the other week when we went out and we went to his restaurant and I was just sitting there downstairs and I was looking around and I was like, is this where my boyfriend's going to be? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like for the rest of my life. Till yeah, three o'clock in, in the morning in that environment, girls on the chairs dancing, alcohol, and is that going to be my life while I'm at home on the sofa? I'm like, bang. Yeah, because I, I feel like in a relationship, we shouldn't be exposed to that kind of environment all the time, like on such a consistent. 
basis and it's not healthy when i met him in the first few months i was like do you know what there's no point in us dating because it's not going to go anywhere and we're not going to have a future it was worse then huh? i was like we're not going to have a future together because i will never be able to accept your work and we both spoke about it and we're like okay cool but then you know when we just like you're so attracted to each other and you just can't like let go of each other and we just kept seeing each other but i still never thought it would become something serious I just thought it was going to be like a fun thing and then it ended up becoming really serious. Yeah. It's a very difficult situation, really. Relationships are difficult. Life is difficult. Even my thing before we went to, before Dubai, like Gingerbread was going out constantly every week and I didn't want to go. I wanted to go on like a no drinking thing for a while, no going out thing for a while. He was going out every single week coming home so late. And I was like, what is this? Like, when are you going to get over this? Yeah. When are you going to like be ready just kind to of chill? Like so guys, we switched the camera off for a bit. We were eating watermelon and smoking shisha. And we're still doing it. We're still doing it. But then we just kind of went on our phones on TikTok for a while. Basically, this is Saturday night for us now. It never used to be like this. Yeah, Saturday night before for us was wild. Shots in the bar. Oh, it still is, it's just one Saturday. <laughs> She's acting like it's just one Saturday. We are sisters in the city. I was basically just on TikTok now and then we just started for half an hour, me and Mandy, like weirdos searching about Britney Spears. Britney Spears is conspiracy if she's alive or if she's dead. I am. And Mandy's convinced that Britney Spears is dead and they've replaced her with a robot. How is there no clear paparazzi pictures of her face? So and Mandy's she's prison in a house. And these videos of her are so, so many glitches, so many changes in her face, so many changes in background now. Something's up, bro. Why is she not one interview, bro? You just come out from like being. Bro. Just one, just like one interview of you basically coming out of this imprisonment, whatever. So Mandy's called. like watching all these slow motion videos of her wedding day. But then if it's fake, then why would all these people from like Paris Hilton to Selena Gomez and all these people lie? They don't know her. They're not friends with her like that. But they're at her wedding. She's there. Who's at her wedding? They were there. Her Paris Hilton and Selena Gomez, everyone were at her wedding. Were they? Yeah. It's like art, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the, these guests in the wedding or whatever, huh? but like these videos of her are fake. That's all I know. These weird. What well, was about her at home? Yeah. The, there's yellow plants appearing in the background. Mm -hmm. Her face is changing. What is going on? Yeah, it is. There's one video if you actually watch it slow mo. She goes like she's doing these weird like dances and then she goes like this and then if you do slow mo her kind of face changes. That's not the only one. But there's another one where there's a yellow plant appears in her garden and then it goes the yellow plant disappears. Anyway, I want to do this TikTok with Mandy where it's like me, it's like this, 9 p.m. Okay, you can't see, but it's okay. like before you're like dancing years ago and like now me like 10 years later. Yeah, but that means we have to get into dresses. Which we can't be able to do obviously because we're old. <laughs> we're too old to be able to do a TikTok. <laughs> we stare at TikTok so like, we should do this, we should do this. And then five minutes later we're like... <laughs> yeah we literally go on tiktok like we should do these tiktoks and we just don't do them what's wrong with us i don't know man i can't jump on the tiktok bandwagon man i, I try it's hard isn't it once you get into flow of it though it gets really good like one, at one point i was doing ones every day i was in a flow of it so what? everything's got to be like you've got to get into the flow of it just like podcasts yeah we, we stopped were, it we stopped it for one month because we were on holiday and we did pre-recorded lows and then when we came back to it it's like it feels weird you're the one who's always like we should pre-record we should pre-record yeah, I don't think so anymore. I don't think it's a good idea. We shit at our job. We need to change. <laughs> We're really bad. We need to wait until 2024 make a new resolution. <laughs> Maybe we just need to find a new job. Because we're not good influencers. We didn't take any pictures together. I see other sisters, yeah, on Instagram and stuff. And they Who's taking their photos, though? Because no one takes ours. <laughs> what do you mean? That we've got loads of people to take ours. That's a, that's a really... You try, yeah, with you, Randy. You try and find excuses. So why didn't we? You try and find excuses. So why didn't we then? <laughs> I said it one night. You I try like, and find excuses. Who are meant to be the producer of our life? Well, I'm not. I'm not Chris Jenner. Why don't you be? Because I'm not. So I can be Kim K. <laughs> why don't you be Chris Jenner? I'm so shit at that kind of thing. Maybe we just genuinely need to find a new work thing. What do you mean? <laughs> I feel like we're going to podcast. <laughs> the podcast is the only thing we've actually been consistent at. Oh, I want to be one of those influencers, you know, that they do, they do like these dumps of like all this swap. Oh, is that what it's called? It's a burst, but it was called a dump. We are good at Instagram. We oh, could be better. We don't take any pictures together. All right, well, if we ever leave the house now, we're mm. going to take a picture together. Yeah, okay. from now on, we, we say that every time. We should have a rule if we ever leave the house together. Tomorrow we're going out. We have to get a picture together. Are you down for that? I'm down. Are you down? Are you down that every single time we go out? Every, every time single shake on it, shake on it. Every time we go out. Shake on it. Promise. Promise. Deal. Pinky if you, promise. I'm gonna say it, yeah. 
Why don't you be the Christian and you say it? No, I don't want to be the Christian. You say it though. I don't want to be. So then what do you want? I want us to make a team agreement, a shake, that every time we go out, we get a picture together. Yeah, but you have to remind us on the night. I was saying, you know, there's people that on Instagram they take a picture of like a Diet Coke and it looks great. <laughs> like, you know, they're dumps or whatever. What do you call it? What did you say it was called? They're dumps. Yes, they're dumps. You said it was called something else. Bursts. They're so creative. Yeah, we look creative. Oh. <laughs> what are we good at? You were good at what? Fuck those influencers. <laughs> you're, such a, you're such a hater. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Fuck them. And they're stupid bursts and dumps. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. I just want money to appear on my account. I just want to go out and spend it and enjoy it. Why are you talking so low? I want money to appear on my account. I want to go out and spend it. I want to eat and never want to wait. I want to drink and never have anger about. I want to travel. That's so true. That's what I want. Basically, what we want to be is housewives. I don't want to be that fucking housewife. <laughs> I don't want to be in the house, I want to be out, I want to be on the streets. I want to be a street wife. I want to be a street wife. Basically, what you were hoping is that you were just born rich. Yeah. Like, stinking rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not have to work. But you know, poor girls that are born rich are always so dumb. We have so many life experiences under our belt. So what do you want? What do you, what want? Do you want? What do you want? What do you want from life, Mandy? <laughs> what do you want from life? I just want to enjoy it. I just want to enjoy. Do you want to be an influencer? What, what does that mean? You know, people have a passion, their job. Like, yeah. Do you want to be an influencer? <laughs> do what you is an influencer? <laughs> Everyone's a motherfucking influencer these days. <laughs> Micro influencers, big influencers, all kinds of influencers. What is an influencer? Do you want to be a social media? Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this shit. So, what do you want? Why are you asking me so the questions? It's like a fucking interview. What the fuck do you want? People that do these things for, for a profession, they're creative. Yeah, we're not creative. What are we good at, do you think? Talking shit. Well, that's the thing. I ask myself that every single day. What am I good at? I'm good at loads of stuff. I just don't you, know how to do them. So, like, you, Mandy, you're... Oh, you're, you're <laughs> you! You actually... You! And the biggest waste of talent! You! You actually have a talent. You have a talent for writing. Yes. You have a talent for makeup. You have... <laughs> yes, okay. You're the talentless bitch and I'm the one who's just wasting me every day. At least you have a talent, but that's what's worse for your situation. I don't have a talent. I have talents. <laughs> little, little bit. I'm good at a thing. I'm a little bit good at a few things. No, I'm you're not, not majorly good at one. No, you're not. You're you know what? What's your point? You're anyway? major. <laughs> you I can't stop laughing. You're majorly good at makeup. What's your point? Yeah. <laughs> it's about a thousand million fucking beauty influencers. You can't think like that. You can't think like that. And you <laughs> were so good when we were young. Every <laughs> God, I come here. She, she makes me feel more shit. I come here feeling useless and shit about my life and I'm purposeless, she makes me feel worse. <laughs> at least when I sit back, I think to myself, okay, I'm not good at I'm anything. not good at anything. Do you need to be a bum? So I'm not you good at anything. Even Mandy's a real bum. You have a good voice even. A singing what? voice. <laughs> Unbreak my heart. No, why are you pretending? You actually have a good no, voice. No, I can't anymore. It's years of smoking and drinking. I've lost my voice. I used to be have a good voice when I was younger. So there you go, another talent that you wasted. <laughs> Whereas I actually don't like, I mean, obviously I studied, I just have a pharmacy degree. I think I would have been a good rapper. Yeah, you would have. Yeah, she was That's another talent that you were saying. Ginger beer is on the street, then Louis. But he should always come home to go through me. <laughs> <laughs> and Alice Cow's licks at a bar, but that really leaves a bad scar. <laughs> and we're sitting on the sofa. Soaking shisha. <laughs> but we're anti Reefa. What's a, is Reefa? We oh, yeah. Okay. And like, but we want to really want to watch murder documentaries. We should be out on a Saturday night, but instead we in took... Bentleys. In Bentleys. <laughs> <laughs> but instead we're sitting on the sofa like Kremlies. What's Kremlies? <laughs> What's Kremlies? <laughs> You've ruined my flow. Okay. I've wrote a really good right. back once, We're yeah? talking about what we want from life, but really... Maybe we have everything in our cry. <laughs> you know, I don't know why you thought you could rap when you can't even speak. She has zero vocabulary. I once wrote a rap and I deleted it because I cringed out at myself. Do you think this might still be my notepad? <laughs> Do you think? 
I want to go all the way to the bottom of my neck. I know, I feel like we're acting like we're drunk, but we're not. Our body is so used to being drunk on a Saturday night, it's acting weird. This video is probably not going to even go up. If it goes up, then please don't judge us. This is a good one. I wrote this. 2019. I haven't read this though. Go on, have. then. Are you going to do it in rapping voice? No, it's a poem. Mandy's going to read a beautiful poem that she wrote. In a world where people take pleasure in accentuating your flaws and preying on your weaknesses, where people are prepared with brushes in hand to paint an ugly picture of you. Don't forget to bathe in the light you see in your soul and water the flowers in your heart's garden. And remember that there is goodness in you and where there is darkness, you can open the doors of wisdom to let the light flood in. Believe in yourself and your kindness. You actually wrote that? It's not that good. It is amazing. You'd never think it the way she's like, bro, yeah, bro. Da, da, da. Oh, these are poems I wrote in 2019. Should I read them? Go on then. I will always prefer the person with a sharp, venomous tongue who can turn devil before my very eyes, who is transparent and undesigned, whose dark chapters are as visible and present to read as their light ones. This person can be wolf and at other times sheep and will shift rhetorically in between and sometimes to unpleasant extremes. Yet better the devil you know than the devil you don't. My biggest fear is the everyday sheep, the kind and the caring, the people pleaser who spins a web around your mind and feeds you desirable yet fabricated thoughts to heighten your feelings, but has ulterior plans and intentions. This person will never hand you a sword. You will simply find it in your hand. This person will never feed you a poisonous apple. He will simply place it so artistically, so temptingly, at a time when your appetite craves it the most. That scares me. When did I write this? Three years, four years ago. It's so good, Mandy. And that's so true. You know, what really scares me is people that act so good and kind and angelic and they're actually the worst people. They have the worst souls, you yeah. know? And then sometimes people that are a bit more flawed and maybe make mistakes, they're actually the best people and they have the best hearts. 100%. You know, I've experienced it personally in my life where I've, I've met people that have been unbelievably good to me and I thought that they were like dropped down from heaven. Yeah, so that was inspired by them. Was it? And then it was like the when you find out their true true colours and who they really are, it's like a big shock to your system. Whereas when someone's a bit more flawed and they make mistakes, you kind of know them. It's just be like cunts, just like I am, just like a straight up cunt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, I mean, I hope that we do post this video in the end. We just need to get used to put, switching this camera on. Yeah. But do you think people that do vlogs and are just switch the camera on, I think they plan it, what they're going to do. They it's really difficult. You know, the thing is, it's really difficult for us because we don't watch other people's YouTubes. We don't listen to podcasts. We what do we do? The TV's been off all day and it's with me and you on the sofa. What have we been doing? I sometimes time just goes. And <laughs> days go to time. Goes, what have we been doing? I really do think, though, that my biggest issue right now is that I don't have a little bit of routine in my life. Yeah, but you can make a routine. You think these billionaires have a routine. Right, so this is the thing. I accept that like my discipline is so bad that I, I cannot, as much as I try, I don't know what it is, I cannot. Maybe, I don't know, it's a little bit of, I think, mental health is involved because yeah. I do think that that's what makes you not motivated. Me too. So I think, I don't know, I do think actually sometimes, yeah, like it's just being too, a bit comfortable as well. Mm, maybe. Um, Maybe some people can help us we drop comments on how we can... Yeah, drop comments on how you can be more disciplined and motivated in life. And I hope that we don't make you guys feel shitty. I'm sure we'll make people feel better about being shit as well. I'm sure people watching this feel shit. I mean, we're <laughs> shit. We'll just be shit together. We'll just all be shit together. Be shit. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.